how to make slider in Roblox. So on the GitHub, if you don't know what is GitHub, it is a website where you can find a lot of open source projects. And on GitHub, there is an account, a Roblox official account, and they have a core uh, script repository. And inside of this repository, there is a file called RPX GUI. So in this file, there are there's a lot of code. There are almost 4,000 lines of code. So there's a lot of code. And we are going to use from here a create slider. So if you search create slider, you can see that there is a function like that. So let's make copy paste of this file and let's create a module inside of our replicated storage. I will rename the module RPX GUI and I will replace the contents from the GitHub. So the next thing is to create a slider inside of on our screen. And for that we get go to the starter GUI folder and we create a screen GUI and inside of here I want to know what's the look like what is the target location. So we will put the slider here. I will rename it target location. So inside of screen GUI, I will create a local script. It has to be a local script because uh, graphical user interface scripts have to be always local scripts. They're never server scripts. So inside of this folder, you always have only local scripts. And I will rename it slider GUI. I will just name it slider. So let's import the module. For that, as you know, we have to first get access to the replicated storage. And we do it by game service, get service. There are a lot of different services. As you can see, if I scroll down the drop down you can see a lot of different services so you can read about them later if you want uh, let's have a let's import the module rpx gui and we have to use require keyword and i will put here replicated storage rpx gui Let's just test it if it is working and we can test it by printing it out. I click play and let's see if it comes here. We can see that it prints out the thing. It prints out the module. So let's, and the next thing is to create a slider if you go inside of the module and you search for create slider function so here you can see it is called create slider uppercase and it has three argument steps width and position So that's what I'm going to do. Create slider steps and width will be 500 and position, I will name it target position. Right now target position is not yet initialized. Therefore we have to do it. And the position will be the target location. So therefore, we have to use script parent, target location, and position. So this target location is the button here. But it will not yet display on the screen because if you look the function, great slider function inside of this module you can see that it returns three variables slider GUI, slider position and slider steps 
So let's put that. So the first variable was the frame, the GUI, let's say slider element. And let's add a parent for slider element. If you don't add a parent, it will not show up on the screen. And the parent will be screen GUI script parent therefore it has to be script parent if i click play you will see the slider hopefully yes you can see the slider but you will also see the button it's uh, still visible so let's make the button invisible so i will make script parent target location and visible force I actually don't like the name target location because I don't understand that it is button therefore I will rename it target button well, so I copy paste the location I will click play again and now there should be no button and there you see we have a slider next thing is to create the label let's create the label where we will display the value i will very quickly change the properties of that i will make background transparent i will change text color i will make it i don't know that red i will change the font uh, font size Oi. font size and I will change the font family let's put the creepster so the next thing is to change the value of the slider so if we go inside of this um, module once again uh, there is a slider position the sec second the the second variable that is returned and if we scroll up we can see the slider position is a instance of a class called int value and if we go to official roblox documentation there is an int value class and this has an event called changed which will return us the new value so let's do that so first of all we need to get access to the second variable that is returned so i will add here um what is this position int value and let's connect to this events and let's listen to the changes that's how you connect to the events i think you already know it you have to use the connect function and this uh, event handler takes one para one argument uh, for for clarity let's make a new function for that handle uh, value change and let's define this function handle value change um, I had a typo I also have to have a function here so here you go and this has a new value here so just for testing purpose let's print it out new value so let's click play again and let's see if it comes here in the terminal so i move the slider and you can see that those values change and they're printed out inside of the terminal so the next thing is just to change the label value and that's very easy and probably you already know it so let's get access to the label script parent and inside of this script parent we have this text label 
and let's change the text now. And this will be new value. And as you can see, it is working very nicely. So here you go. Now you know how to make a slider. Thank you for watching and have a nice evening.